Republican presidential hopefuls are trying to start Twitter battles with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and it's not going too well for them. So the reason they're doing this is because they want to score some quick, cheap brownie points with the Republican base. And, um, you know, they think stuff like this will catapult them into relevancy so that in 2024, you know, they've already established more of a name for themselves in the court of public opinion. You know, in, in Republican insider circles, they um they all know who Nikki Haley is. They love Nikki Haley. They want her to be the next president. But the actual Republican voters are like, who? Nikki who? She, uh you know, she was a governor and her national profile is not nearly as big as it needs to be. So this is something that, make no mistake about it, this is definitely a, a, a strategy on their part. This is, you know, this is planned out. And again, it's not going too well for them, so Business Insider reports the following. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley clashed on Twitter on Thursday over government funds towards COVID-19 relief. Ocasio-Cortez tweeted earlier Thursday, suggesting that in order to get the recent COVID-19 surges under control, we need to pay people to stay home. Haley, a former Republican governor of South Carolina who spoke at the Republican National Convention earlier this year, responded to the progressive congresswoman's tweet asking her, where she expects to get the funds to pay people to quarantine. Quote, AOC, are you suggesting you want to pay people to stay home from the money you take by defunding the police? <laughs> Haley replied, or was that for the student debts you wanted to pay off the Green New Deal or Medicare for all? <laughs> Ocasio-Cortez tore into Haley and other Republicans in Congress in her reply, quote, Nikki, I'm suggesting Republicans find the spine to stand up to their corporate donors and vote for the same measures they did in March, except without the Wall Street bailout this time, she wrote. And I know you're confused about actual governance, but police budgets are municipal, not federal. Damn. Utterly embarrassing that this woman was a governor and still doesn't have a grasp on public investment. Wonder if she says federal financing works like a piggy bank or a household, too, Ocasio-Cortez continued. All this faux seriousness from folks who worship Trump for running the country like his casino. Damn. Damn. See, this is where the Republican perception of reality in their little bubble butts up against objective reality. And in their minds, they've all decided that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is unintelligent, she's an idiot, and she has no idea what she's talking about. And so they go for these cheap, quick, easy dunks, but in the process, they end up being the idiots because they say stuff like Nikki Haley said here. I mean, this is... This is weak, man. This is weak. I want to read it again. Um... She asked her where she expects to get the funds to pay people to quarantine. Quote, AOC, are you suggesting you want to pay people to stay home from the money you take by defunding the police? Yeah, that, that makes absolutely no sense because the federal government doesn't control the police budgets around the country. Like, I know you're trying to hit all your stupid Fox News, One American News Network talking points about, you know, crazy lefties and defund the police and abolish ICE and Medicare for all and Green New Deal. Like, trying to play gotcha but you tripped over your own dick. And then she says, or was that for the student debts you wanted to pay off, the Green New Deal or Medicare for All? I love how in their world, like, that's spiking the football in the end zone. Guys, every one of those things polls phenomenally well. Abolishing student debt, the Green New Deal, although the numbers on that may have come down recently. I know originally it was like 80% or something ridiculous of people supporting it. But Medicare for all, 70%. See, they're, they're too much in their own bubble. They just assume that everybody in the country is like drunk on Fox News and all you have to do is say the words Medicare for all and, and they're like, ah, oh, gross, Medicare for all, gross. No, 70% of the country. There's one poll that had 51% of Republicans, Republican voters, who were like, yeah, I kind of want everybody to have health care. So the, it's, it's not going to work. We're going to see something that's very disturbing moving forward, and we're already beginning to see it now. I think that these old, stuck-up, ancient politicians are now understanding that it's, it's the internet era. And so you have to kind of be relevant in that way 
to make it politically. And so you're seeing this with Marco Rubio, for example. You're seeing this with Ted Cruz. They've all been doing a Trump impression for years now. They saw that Donald Trump succeeded and became president. And they were like, okay, we need to try to copy him and do what he did. And so now you see Marco Rubio out there pretending to be a populist, changing some of his views or pretending to change some of his views on trade and things of that nature. Uh, you see Ted Cruz trying to like, you know, Twitter burn people on a regular basis in a way that previously he never did. Because they all saw the model of success as Trump, and Trump's extremely online, and so they're trying to be exactly like that. Now, Nikki Haley, she's not comfortable doing this crap. You think she's comfortable getting in Twitter fights? Of course not. She's, she's out of her comfort zone, and she's doing it because she wants to be president. She wants to run in 2024, and she thought this would be quick and easy. But no, there's the two most online politicians in the country, Donald Trump and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You're not going to get the better of her on Twitter. Are you insane? Ah, man. One of the reasons why it makes all the sense in the world from a strategic perspective for Democrats to embrace leftism is that you bait Republicans into taking their mask off. And what I mean by that is you, they'll be upfront about the fact that, yeah, I don't want everybody in this country to have health care. Yeah, I don't want, a, you know, a jobs program. I don't want people to have higher wages. They will admit all this stuff. You can get them to take the bait if you unapologetically argue for this stuff. And you're getting a little taste of it here with what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said and what Nikki Haley was saying. She baited Nikki Haley into making a fool of herself. And forget policy substance, which is true. On the actual policy itself, you should support these things. But even from just a strategic perspective, even if you're a, a, a terrible corporate Democrat who doesn't believe in any of these things, at least strategically, you should act like you believe in these things because you're going to win more elections that way. You're going to bait Republicans into taking their mask off and showing that they really believe in not improving people's lives. So, I mean, listen, this couldn't have gone any better in all seriousness. Nikki Haley thought she'd be in, out, dunk on her, move on get some social media brownie points, up her public profile. Instead, she made a damn fool of herself. She made a fool of herself. And uh, it's going to be tough to watch all of these Republican politicians trying to fit into the Trump era of politics and the extremely online era of politics because none of them are comfortable doing it. They're not. None of them are comfortable doing it. Trump and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez are the most online politicians. Everybody else is playing catch-up to one extent or another. And you can almost smell the desperation on the likes of Nikki Haley and other Republican politicians. They're trying so hard. And it's like, that's part of the problem. Part of the problem is that you're trying so damn hard and we could all see through it. So anyway, keep embarrassing yourself. And um, really, ultimately, what happens is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is the one who gets the easy dunks on them because they make it so easy for her.